Hey guys, in this small video, we will talk about how to properly handle Beacon Wallet using TechVito uh, when you're building front-end for Tezos applications. So here is a simple example that we will be going through. So I actually have this contract. Let me just give you. So I create this file config.js which just contains this address. And if I show you what this contract is, it is just a simplest contract possible. Uh, which contains a method with which you can change a state variable uh, in the on the blockchain so let me go to hangzo hangzo to net let me just change this address here and uh, you will see that the storage just contains a string so that it's gonna take some time to load it Meanwhile, you, we can start by talking about the structure. So the thing about this application is if I connect to my wallet by clicking here, going to temple wallet, and let's say if I connect this account, if I connect it and if I refresh it, you will see that the state is still maintained and we'll talk about how to handle it because this this uh, like the information around this is actually not properly given in the documentation so i've kind of figured it out by looking at other projects and uh, i will give you a small in uh, like video or like a small information like how to properly handle it so apparently it is taking a lot of time let's just start so first of all you can see we have an app.js uh, main component which just contains a bunch of components so you can see we have an f bar and the change name so change name is essentially this whole thing which contains an input box and this button so let me see if it is loaded why is it why is it taking so much time anyways so you can see if we go to the nav bar you will find that it contains this navigation bar and up apart from that it contains a lot of information around handling the wallet so first of all you need to create a wallet.js file wherever you like so i prefer to create a utils folder where i can put it so this contains some information so first thing is like the preferred network you know the options which you will pass in the beacon wallet instance and then the rpc url so you can see we created the beacon wallet instance and then we create a utility function which is get active client get active account which just returns the account object which is active now this thing is not properly given in the documentation so this will return a uh, information uh, like uh, about the currently active account for that website so now we have a connect wallet method which basically looks for the currently active account if it does not exist then we will ask for the permission and then we'll set the account variable to the uh to the active account now because we have asked for the permissions and then we can return this uh, uh this object which contains a boolean value success and the wallet which actually contains a wallet address then we have disconnect wallet api it basically disconnects your wallet and then we have check if wallet connected what it does this method basically checks if if there is an active uh connection for your wallet so basically if any account is connected already if it is connected then it will return this object otherwise it will return an error an object with a status which is false and an error and this is how you can actually call a function of a this is how you can call an entry point of a contract so i'll discuss this in a moment but before this i just want to uh, talk about one thing uh, which is we are just creating only one instance of beacon wallet here so you can see we just created one instance of beacon wallet and this is what we are using so we will not get that warning of like creating multiple beacon wallet instances now in order to handle it in order to call an entry point first of all we checks if there is an active wallet if there is an active wallet then we will you know normally call uh, the entry point by creating the Tezos instance and then setting the wallet provider as this and then creating the contract object and then create then we are going to call here so you, you can see there was just one entry point that's why it's default and then you can wait for the operation to confirm and then we are just logging it 
so if i go over here you will see in the storage we just contains a string and if you go to the interact we just have a function called default which basically sets this name here so i can show you if you try to change it to vivek kumar and click on the set name it will now pop up your wallet and you just need to sign the transaction so this is how you can properly handle a uh, beacon wallet and uh, using tech veto now i have actually created us i have actually created a uh, template for this so if you want to use it you can if you go to this location and you look for react tezos template this is the exact same uh, repository that we are currently looking at so you can build directly on top of it So I will link this uh, repository down in the description. You can check it out. So yeah, this is it for this video. So I hope it uh, was informative. And now you can see Vivek Kumar is there in the storage. So that's how you can properly handle uh, the wallet. Now one more thing if I show you, which is if you try to directly add something, for example, here and click on the set name, you can see the wallet is not connected. So it will first of all ask you to connect the wallet. So this is happening because if you go to this method called check if wallet connected, it first of all looks for the uh, active wallet. If it is there, then it's fine. Otherwise, it will ask for the permission. So this is how you can handle it. Thank you.